1988, a massive series of wildfires burned in the area in and around Yellowstone National Park. During one of the driest summers on record, almost 250 fires erupted, 50 within the park itself. Between July and September of 1988, they would consume 1.2 million acres in the area, almost 800,000 of that within Yellowstone's boundaries. But even as the fires burn, park biologists and naturalists were quick to point out that fire is part of Yellowstone's ecosystem. And while the burning forests appeared disastrous, the flames were really doing a great deal of good for life in the park. Craig Heaps first brought us this report in August 1988. Fire is changing the face of Yellowstone National Park. Areas that were once picture postcards of scenic beauty are now charred moonscapes. For visitors, it's a scene that brings strong emotions. Just gave kind of a bad feeling. It really did, the, the devastation. But for scientists such as Don Despain, the fires here are simply part of the order of things. From my standpoint as a research biologist, it's neither good nor bad. It's a part of nature. Despain has studied the history of fires in Yellowstone, and he says that even in the midst of devastation, there is already life springing from the ashes. The root crowns, some rhizomes in the soil and um, seeds that are still alive in that soil and they'll begin growth next spring. Uh, there'll be a lot of fertilizer from the ash. Naturalist Louisa Wilcox says fires are an important part of the ecosystem at Yellowstone, getting rid of old vegetation and making way for new. Fire has largely taken the place of other decomposers in this ecosystem. Unlike other parts of the country, we do not have the fungi and bacteria needed to decompose dead plant life and dead animal life here. Although the fires may cause some problems for wildlife in the short term, burning some and destroying the feeding grounds of others, Wilcox says it will be better for them in the long run. In the long run, we're going to see greener areas, more nutritious habitat, uh, more valuable habitat. Uh, for an array of different species in Greater Yellowstone. Yellowstone has a history of big fires such as this. The last one was in the mid-1800s. And um, maybe 100, 150 years before that, 1750, 1730, somewhere in there was another time when there were very large fires of this kind. And it's uh, quite evident that this thing has gone on uh, for thousands of years. When fires appeared to devastate Yellowstone National Park in 1988, biologists told us it was all part of the natural cycle of things there. Fourteen years after those fires, KTVU's George Watson returned to Yellowstone to see for himself how the park was recovering. The sun shines benignly upon the forests of Yellowstone National Park. This land where the grass grows and the wind blows all constants in the evolution of this magnificent place. But equally at home here is the phenomenon of fire. In the summer of 1988, nearly 800,000 acres of forest burned, the largest wildland fire in history. At its worst, some thought it was the end of Yellowstone. Here, the whole park was burning up. Nobody would ever come to visit it again, and there was going to be ashes, and it was burning so hot in such large areas that it would take hundreds of years for it to go back again. And I'd had enough experience by that time to know that wasn't the case. There will be trees again. It will be beautiful again. But it's going to take a long time, and I think we're going to all have to work together. In fact, after the first year, most of the grassland was back. It's the trees that are a different story. After an enormous wildfire, forests are not on a fast track to recovery. This little guy is a perfect example. He's about four feet tall, and yet he's 14 years old. The forest is coming back, but it's according to nature's timetable. Obviously, that it's going to take a long time for this forest to attain a mature height. It might be in Yellowstone here 50 or 60 years or more um, before trees are, are tall, and so it isn't, it isn't going to look the same. Dead trees litter the ground like a giant game of pickup sticks abandoned by nature's players, wind and fire. There are curious swaths of dead trees surrounded by green, healthy ones. What whim of nature left them standing? Everywhere you look, you can see the new vitality of Yellowstone. We have had excellent regeneration here. I think that it's hard for all of us in our short lifetime to appreciate that there'll be a 10 or 15 year period where things are black, where, where the trees are small, 
1988, the Yellowstone fire burned from June until October, coming under control only after the first snows of September began to fall. Even as the fire played out, the people that knew the land the best knew also that fire is part of the process, nature literally cleaning house. 